Hey, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to Deer Corner. Just getting out some old deer heads, deer mounts I had throughout the years. Now this mount here, this deer here, I taken on November the 28th, 1975. And um, this got me into looking for signs for deer. This is what started getting me to get out, putting feet on the ground, and start scouting. And what happened on this deer, we had a poplar tree that the top broke out, and it fell on the fence. So brother and I, we went out, took chainsaw and tractor out. We went out and cleaned the tree off the fence, cut it up, piled the brush up out in the pasture so we can burn it. And as we were cutting the tree up, I was looking down and noticed some deer tracks, very big deer tracks. And they were coming and going, several sets of them. That buck, he was uh, coming back and forth in that area right there. And like I said, this is the one that got me started in signs because, see, we had no internet. Um, nothing on the TV, no video back then, nothing. And that's what got me going in uh, looking for deer signs and what to look for. I had to learn on my own. So we cleaned it up. I noticed the deer sign, the deer tracks, big ones. And uh, a couple weeks later, we had a light snow. And I knew things around the house would be slowed down because of the snow. And that Saturday morning, I got up. And where we piled the brush up out in the pasture, I went ahead and sat up in. I used it as a back cover. I sat back in it. And about 8.30 that morning, this buck here jumped the fence almost right in front of me. And uh, I just happened to raise the gun up and get a shot at him. And I, I hit him and... This is him right here. Um, this is actually my third nice buck I taken, but um, again I had them wrapped up and put away. I got several mounts put away, but this buck here is, uh, like I said, he's 40, 48 years old, 1975. And I took him. But uh, he hopped the fence right in front of me. And I slowly raised the gun up and got a shot. I just turned 16 when I got this deer here. And We had to send him off. We had to put him in a deep freeze, make sure he was frozen solid, because we had to send him to St. Louis. At the time, was the closest place. It was a high tanning mounting in St. Louis that did it, but um, I took him, and uh, he's showing his age too. But I've taken several deer throughout my lifetime. But I no longer mount them. Back then I did. Up to about 20 years ago or so I quit mounting deer. Um, basically I ended up with so many mounts I didn't know what to do with them. I ended up putting them away. But that's how I got started in deer and deer signs. And scouting and one thing in scouting don't go by the scrapes and don't go by the rubs I've seen a six point a small six point rub a big four or five inch tree just because the size of the tree you see the rub is a bigger buck no that's not true I've seen a cow horn do a scrape a fresh scrape on the ground so a big buck doing a scrape no that's not true Basically, you have to have feet on the ground, and basically, I look for tracks. 
the bigger tracks, big does, big bucks. The bigger the tracks, that's where I want to be. That's how I look. I look for tracks. But I have my own property now, and uh, it's taken me several years to get my deer herd to the quality of deer that I'm hunting and I want. So it's taken several years of uh, hunting and technique, but uh, there is no magic powder. There's no magic dust you throw up in the air. If the deer isn't there, he's not there. And that's where the scouting comes in. You have to locate these deer. You just can't throw something on the ground and expect a big buck or a buck that you're choosing wanting to take or you're hoping to get and throw something on the ground or throw something in the air that that's going to bring that buck in. That's, that's not true. You have to scout it out. You have to locate them. You have to find the area where they're at or do what I'm doing. It took several years to get deer herds to the quality of deer that I'm wanting. But I'm just bringing you along and just showing you 50 years of hunting, 50 years of experience, and my own learning on know-how, what to look for, bring deer and quality of deer in. But again, if you're in the woods, be safe. You'd rather be safe than sorry, because things do happen. And when you're out there scouting, like I say, look for the tracks. Don't look for the rubs. Don't look for the scrapes. Find the biggest tracks you can find, whether they're does or bucks. Look for the largest tracks. That's where you're going to find the largest deer, because they'll leave a large track. And hope to see you again. Go ahead, leave me a comment. Go ahead and subscribe. I'll get back with you, but these two deer right here, 50 years of hunting, and uh, I haven't missed a year since. I've taken two, sometimes three deer a year, and you do the math, that's 125 to 150 deer I have taken so far in my lifetime, and I enjoy hunting. I just enjoy deer hunting. I enjoy getting out and getting it done. So thanks for coming along and hope to see you again. Y'all have a good evening.